internet, it is Tuesday, December 27th. Welcome back to the vlog. So, uh, yeah, today is gonna be kind of a, a day here. It's hard because I, I didn't know if I was gonna talk about this, but at the same time, I, I wanna talk about real things on my vlog. And at the same time as that, uh, I am very well aware of the fact that I have five vlogs left, including this one, I think. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, five vlogs left, including this one. So I have this pressure to make them all fantastic, and I know that's not going to happen. But uh, anyway, so December 27th is kind of a big day on my calendar for some less than stellar reasons. And I didn't want to talk about it today because I was like, I don't want to bring everybody down. I've been such a downer lately. That's no fun to be such a downer. But at the same time, it's a very important part of my history and my story. So I, I thought that I would tell you about it um, and try to find a way to make it positive. Let's see if I can do it. Um, so eight years ago today at 4.30ish, uh, my friend Abbott was killed in a car accident. And he was the first friend that I had where he was one of, you know, that, that died. And he was one of the first people that I ever, like, really trusted enough to, like, get mad at on a regular basis. You know how you just have those friends where you can be like, oh, I hate you, I want to punch your face in. And then 20 minutes later, you're like, okay, I'm over it. And your friendship is still the same and even better for it because you can do that with each other because you feel so comfortable. And so that was really, really hard. And there are some days when I'm still not over that. Uh, but the first year of dealing with the loss of my friend was very, very difficult. And that was the year that I met Will. And uh, we had started talking around October-ish and, and kind of flirting with the idea of dating over the holiday season. And then on December 27th, one year to the day after Abbott died, uh, Will very smoothly was like, so when do you think we started dating? And I said, I, I don't know, because I, I didn't. I was like, I guess now? Because, you know, I'm, I am not smooth at all. And he very much wanted to wait, because it was like 11.55 or something like that. And he was like, we can wait the five minutes so it's the 28th, and it's not the same day that your friend died. And I started thinking about it, and I was like, you know, I think Abbott would really, really like it if we took what is a very negative day and made it a very positive day. So I think we should start dating today. So we started dating one year to the day after Abbott died, and that was always kind of a, a fun thing for me. It was like, I took this terrible day and made it into a positive day, and now, ha-ha, <laughs> not so much. Now it's the day that uh, not only did my best friend die on this day eight years ago, but seven years ago, it's the day I started officially dating the person who is now my ex-husband, uh, which is rough. So it's, I tried really hard to, to make a, a positive thing out of a negative thing, and now it's in spite of my best efforts, kind of a negative thing again. And I've been thinking about it, and, you know, it's, it's really easy to romanticize somebody very soon after they pass away. It's, <coughs> excuse me, it's, it's really, really easy to suddenly just remember that they were all good all the time, and they were never annoying or selfish or, or a jerk. They were always just perfect. And then as time goes on, you start to remember that, uh, you know, they had their moments, and I started realizing... <laughs> that <coughs> that Abbott would probably be like, hey, that's my day, you jerk. I don't want to share that. Lame, lame, all for me, all for me. So uh, I guess, Abbott, you can have your day back if you want it. I don't know. I, I don't really know how to turn that into something super, super positive, except that, you know, time goes on and 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 sad things can become good things over time. So I'm sure that by this time next year, it won't be such a... Uh, complicated thing to deal with for me and I'll probably just remember everything fondly like now I can remember Abbott fondly you know even though sometimes he was a real jerk he really was but I loved him anyway <coughs> as we do with our friends uh so I miss my friend today and it's it's kind of a big day so I wanted to vlog at the beginning of the day so that I could spend the rest of the day kind of on the couch working but also kind of just mulling and thinking and stuff so that's my vlog for the day. I am very close to five minutes, so I'm going to stop talking now. And I will talk to all of you again tomorrow when I will only have four vlogs left to do. Oh, it's getting scary, you guys. Okay, see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for bearing with me through all of this negative stuff. Um, and I will see you tomorrow.